Hi everyone, I'm Irmina Van Dyken, MD. I'm a surgeon by training, but my true passion is helping people like you obtain optimum health with a whole foods plant-based lifestyle. I want to talk today about colon and rectal cancer, often called colorectal cancer. This month, March, is Colon Cancer Awareness Month. Colorectal cancer is the second most common cancer in both males and females in the United States. But you want to know what's really concerning? The new data demonstrates that colorectal cancer rates are on the rise in young people. Get this, adults born around 1990 have twice the risk of colon cancer and four times the risk of rectal cancer compared to adults born around 1950, according to a study published by the National Cancer Institute. Why is this? The American Cancer Society and many other organizations attribute this rising rate to diet, mainly a standard American diet full of processed food, high in processed meat, and low in fruits, vegetables, and other dietary fibers. This month, we've heard a lot from the press regarding colon cancer and how deadly it is. We'll be encouraged to become more aware of colorectal cancer. We'll be encouraged to get a colonoscopy to diagnose the disease early. I fully agree with encouraging colonoscopies, but why should we focus only on early diagnosis when we can focus more on prevention? Honestly, I think we're all aware of colorectal cancer. We need to do more. We're all aware. We need to talk about preventing the cancer from occurring in the first place. So let's take a minute to talk about what increases the risk of colon cancer. Most of these are lifestyle decisions that we make multiple times every day. There are, of course, genetic predispositions to getting colon cancer. However, that's only about 5% of all colon cancers, not many at all. So the rest, that means 95%, are either random mutations or could be due to lifestyle factors. What type of major lifestyle decisions can we make every day that decrease our risk of colorectal cancer? Well, lucky for you, here's the top five. Number one, not smoking. This one's a pretty obvious one. Cigarettes have over 200 different chemicals in them. Over 50 of them are known class one carcinogens. Of course, smoking is linked to many other cancers as well, such as cancers of the lung and nose and throat. Number two, decreasing consumption of red meat and processed meat. Did you know that just one hot dog or a few strips of bacon every day increases your risk of getting colorectal cancer by 18%? The World Health Organization classifies processed meat as a class one carcinogen. The data on that is pretty clear. Processed meat has compounds called nitrates and nitrites, which interact with the lining of the colon, and they cause normal colon cells to mutate into cancer cells. Red meat seems to cause colorectal cancer via many mechanisms. Usually, it's cooking the meat under high heat, such as grilling or boiling. This produces toxic chemicals like polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons and heterocyclic amines, which are known cancer-causing agents. Number three, increasing physical activity. There's many studies that show that regular exercise can decrease the risk of colon cancer by about 40%. Being physically active has been shown to reduce the risk of colorectal cancer even if you have an increased BMI or are overweight. That means physical activity is an independent protective factor that you can implement in your life today regardless of weight concerns. So how much physical activity do you need to prevent colon cancer, you may ask? Well, experts recommend 30 to 60 minutes of moderate to vigorous activity every day. Number four. Eat tons of vegetables, fruits, whole grains, beans. Sound like anything familiar to you? Maybe a whole food plant-based diet? This may be the single most important prevention strategy you can adopt. Diets high in cooked green vegetables are loaded with phytonutrients. One example of this is vitamin C. Colorectal cancer patients are often deficient in vitamin C. Another example of this is vitamin B6, which is abundantly found in leafy green vegetables. B6 can prevent activity of the P53 gene, which is a cancer-promoting gene. What are some of the most potent cancer-preventing fruits and vegetables? Here's the top three. Number one, cruciferous vegetables. These come out as a huge winner in the colon cancer prevention arena. These are broccoli, broccoli sprouts, cauliflower, arugula, Brussels sprouts, etc. They contain a magical compound called isothiocyanate, which directly prevents colon cancer cell formation. If you wanna learn more about this, check out my other video on sulforaphane. The link's in the description below. The second cool food group is apples. They've been shown to have chemoprotective effects against colorectal cancer. They're a great source of dietary fiber, vitamins, minerals, as well as phytochemicals like carotenoids. 
They're super high in antioxidants, so they combat cellular damage. And the number three rounding out the top three, berries. More than 20 types of berries have shown incredible chemo prevention abilities when it comes to colorectal cancer. There's tons of cancer-fighting compounds in berries, including flavonoids, phenolic acids, tannins, vitamins, and still beans. These compounds do many things, but most importantly, they suppress inflammation, they protect cells from damage, they cause abnormal cells to undergo apoptosis or programmed cell death, they repair damaged DNA, they inhibit something called angiogenesis, which is the growth of new blood vessels to feed cancer cells. So what do you think all these top foods have in common? Well, that brings us to number five and my favorite of all, fiber. As a nation, we're all fiber deficient. Only 3% of Americans get enough fiber. There's heaps and heaps of studies demonstrating that the more fiber you eat, the lower your risk of colon cancer. So make sure you pack a bunch of fiber into your diet every single day. How much fiber, you might ask? Well, minimum fiber requirement is 30 grams per day. If you wanna hear more on this, check out my video about fiber. The link's in the description below. One important note here, eating tons of fruits and vegetables applies to eating the whole fruit and vegetable, not to juicing. Juicing removes the fiber and many other health benefits from the plant. For example, fruit juices have not been shown, like whole foods have, to decrease the risk of colorectal cancer. So be sure to keep your foods whole and full of fiber. All right, guys, let's wrap this up. We're in March. Yes, it's colorectal cancer month. We have awareness of colorectal cancer. We are made aware. Let's continue to keep this awareness with us every day going forward, not only in March. This will bring us one step closer to ending colon cancer to prevent it from happening in the first place. We can change the simple stuff. We can actively screen for colon cancer with colonoscopies and other tests. We can actively change our lifestyles. We cannot smoke. We can become more active and eat more fruits and vegetables. We can eat more fiber. We definitely can do a whole lot more than just being aware and wearing dark blue ribbons in March for colorectal cancer month. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something valuable and applicable to your individual healthcare journey. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna show us some real support, subscribe. We love hearing from you guys, so please comment below with your thoughts and questions on the material covered in the video. And let us know what health topics you wanna to learn more about. Until next time, aloha.